It's RC. I would definitely agree with David Hughes. Um, Escape Room uh, definitely showed a lot of heart and emotional scenes that you don't typically see in a traditional uh, horror film or, um, you know, I guess action adventure film. Uh, they did show a lot of um, action when it came to making decisions, a lot of wit. Um, so that made it a lot more fun and it was kind of needed. Escape rooms, you kind of do need your brain to escape. John DeFour, um, I would have to say as a rebuttal, um, I hear what you're saying. I can't really say yay or nay to it because I haven't gone to an actual escape room yet. Um, so that's why watching this movie was going to be like so much fun for me and it actually was he's 100% right just in a sense of how fun the movie was so maybe um, he's hinting that in person there's a lot of boring uh, escape rooms I hope not because whether it's a date night or you with your girls or family I will I am up for um, uh, going to the escape room I wonder you know what age ranges can do it because I would love to do it with my niece I think she's dope and it will be fun to do that with her James Baradinelli um, you said the last half hour of the movie was basically stupid and dumb idiocy idiocy I looked it up, just wanted to make sure what he was talking about. It means stupid. Um, I would say like a lot of movies. I remember I went to go see, um, what was that series? Like There's a few movies I went to go see with my brother and other people. And depending on the maybe how it begins could be boring. Um, every movie has their little parts that are not like the most intriguing. It's almost like they need a filler to go to the next step. Because they can't just go from A to why they have to have you know some elemental peas in there and maybe the pea wasn't so perfect if that's a good you know way to describe that james you're being too hard on the movie they did the best they can as he says low budget they did an amazing job for a low budget movie Filmmakers did a great job with what they had to work with. Um, Adam Graham felt like, man, it felt like their filmmakers were in a, in a, in a some sort of uh, escape room themselves. And I would have to say the way they put everything into this this movie, I would recommend you watch it in theaters if you're too busy. Then rent it on Redbox when it comes out. Rent it on iTunes wherever you're gonna love it it's fun it's dope um i definitely recommend everyone to go see it right now carrie lingo feels like and you know they definitely have the right to their opinion that escape room was a bad movie um I don't know, Gary, I was having like an ordinary day and I saw Escape Room and it like gave me life for like at least two days. You know, the, the movie, I felt like the characters, um, only one or two I knew from other films, other TV shows. Um, one of them has uh, the guy from Insecure, I forgot his name, but the guy who plays Isha's, you know, ex-boyfriend, the first one. Um, he's in there. He does an amazing job. He's a great actor. So shout out to whoever hired him. Shout out to whoever the casting director was. Because I think sometimes when you do a low budget film, it's hard to get like the right cast. And they did an amazing job. I've seen a lot of different low budget films. And this one was great. I was with it 
every step of the way. I didn't see any parts that were boring. I was never bored. You know, I had, I think I, what I had, like a popcorn and a drink. And I couldn't, like, for, for a little while, I couldn't even, um, eat the popcorn. Like, I was just so captivated by the movie. Like, I, every now and then I sip my drink, but the screen had my attention at all times. So, um, I'm just so, uh, excited and, um, I'm glad I gave it a shot because I know sometimes we look at low budget films and we're like, oh, this is dumb. And then you actually watch it. There's so many films where I went to go see it and I was like, man, I feel horrible. Like the, the thought I had of this movie, what it would have been, you know, but this person has the right to their opinion. But I suggest you create your own opinion and go see it for yourself.